she's out. Look at that. Beautiful. All right, welcome back to the channel, everybody. Today I'm doing a uh, 3412 injector cup reseal. Customer complains, um, coolant keeps getting in the oil. As you can see, a few years ago they replaced oil cooler. This thing doesn't get this thing doesn't get much runtime, so it doesn't turn over into the oil too often, but. During the last inspection, I popped the cover off of this, this uh, side of the head and I could see the telltale signs. There's, there's always like a trail of coolant running down from the injector cups and that's how it, uh, it just flows past the seals or probably dried or, or not dried but shriveled up and deteriorated. But I'm going to be going through how to reseal that today. All right, I've got these covers off. Kind of see down in there. Right there, it's leaking past. That's coolant. Again. And again. So that coolant and oil will start to combine up and you can kind of see it down there in the bottom so it almost looks like snot and that's what it does is forms into that little gunk oh here's some right there spilled on the outside like a nasty oil coolant mixture all right first thing i did pop these guys off loosen them up fuel lines then you're gonna have this like a little retaining assembly here it's for it's for this little pass through so loosen that up and all of that comes off I'm gonna leave that on then I can loosen this up and loosen this up at the same time or hold on to that if I need to whichever Next, loosening these up. Not too, too hard. I have to put that there. See, I got one on the out, one on the inside. Give it a good squeeze, and they loosen up. Obviously, it's better with the actual size wrench, but I'm being lazy right now. I don't feel like getting that. that guy up move your fuel line out the way and then you can get that out don't forget there is an o-ring right there that's what we're doing move it out again Push it up. There we go. All right, next thing, remove the fuel line. Get in here. I've already loosened these, they're not, but they weren't tight. I'm just going to do pop that off. Put them in order if you want. Since I'm going to be reusing these pass-throughs and the uh, injector nozzles, I'm going to do my best to keep them in order. All right. Unfortunately, on this style uh, 3412, I've got to remove the rocker assembly. The last style, I was able to to get these injector cups out those uh, nozzle cups but here they they hit the bridges and, and then the rocker arms so 
I've got to pull this off and make some room. All right, next up. So I got the rocker assembly out of the way. Bridges moved to the side. These loosened up. So yeah. Loosen that up. It is like a little collar. Hold down. Get our little makeshift nozzle puller. Put it on. It's a little bent. And she's out. Get that. Beautiful. Okay, next up. Pull out the, the cup. this washer down here I think they want I think cat calls it a seal but washer seal whatever you want to call it and that's what we're left with all right I've got everything cleaned up the fuel injector cups injectors themselves the uh, pass-throughs and the lines and all the o-rings and whatnot taken off replaced got my holes cleaned up and time to start going back together All right, I'm gonna start installing injector cups. This side's already cleaned up, ready to go. Injector cups are already cleaned up, ready, spacers. Next is this guy. One hundred and fifty point six. She is fully seated. I don't see anything crazy. install our fuel nozzle so she cleaned up new seal 
this in. It's got little, little serrated teeth, kind of like what I was uh, driving it in with. That's what, that's what it's got. So you line it up in the teeth and it can sit down a little bit. There's gonna be some, a little bit of resistance. Let me. up this guy slip it over and tighten to 55 foot pounds it on these two all right I've got all the injector cups and the nozzles installed got them all torqued down next thing uh, I'm gonna do is involve or er, install the uh, rocker assemblies so bridges and bridges are already in I like to give them a little wiggle Make sure they're seated. Everything looks good. Then I installed the, uh, like I said, installed the rocker assembly. It's going to be a little bit of a hassle, a little pain in the butt, but I'll get them in there and then give you guys an update. One of the rocker assemblies on, well, actually, that's the third one. I've got the other side done already, but I'm doing this rocker assembly now. As you see, bolts are still loose, not torqued. Um, a thing I like to do just to make, sh just to look over myself, I after I have everything set up, I go through, I check my bridges, give them a good shake, make sure nothing is off. And then, in the back here, you can see, I can see my push tubes. So I'll go through and I'll make sure every push tube is at the top and bottom in its position. And I can see this back one over here. But that's what I like to go, and that's what I like to do. And then I'll go through, follow the torque sequence, and and get this rocker assembly torqued down. It's uh, 200 foot pounds, and then follow it up with uh, 330 foot pounds, give her give or take like 15 foot pounds so that's what she's at got rockers in all torqued up next gonna put in fuel lines fuel pass-throughs and hook everything back up and then heck we'll be we'll be ready for cooling I do believe so yeah, we'll be ready to fill this thing up with coolant, run an overhead, and fire this thing off. All right, guys. Fuel lines, everything's on. Primed up a little bit. I throw these covers on. I filled it with coolant, ran the overhead, and we're gonna try to crank her up after I put these covers on. 